Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'll be showing you how to do an automatic transmission fluid and filter service on my wife's Mark 1 Volkswagen Tiguan. Uh, they offered this body style between the years of 2009 and 2018. It has a 2.0 turbo TSI engine. Uh, if you know a little bit more about these, it has a CCTA engine code. Uh, it does not matter if it's front wheel drive or all wheel drive. This is the same process. So let's get started. As far as parts that you'll need, automatic transmission fluid specifically for this transmission. I have six quarts right here because we are dropping the oil pan. Um, if you're not doing the filter and the gasket, uh, five would be enough. I have a strainer right here or a filter, a new crush washer for the drain plug, and then the gasket itself. As far as tools, I use the least amount possible because I know not everybody has everything. So starting off, I got some gloves, a bunch of rags, a quarter inch extension, about four inches, um, a quarter inch ratchet, a longer quarter inch ratchet, a regular three inch drive ratchet, a long flathead screwdriver with a pretty big tip, and then a smaller screwdriver, flathead, with a small tip, um, a T45 with a three inch drive, a quarter inch drive T25, a three inch drive five millimeter, it's gotta be long, you have to have this, a short five millimeter and then a 10 millimeter socket quarter inch drive and quarter inch drive as far as filling the transmission there's two different ways to do this you can get a pump and you can press it up into the transmission or you can get a funnel and hang it from the hood and run that hose all the way to the fitting and then gravity fill it uh, you're gonna need this little fitting right here which screws up into the drain plug and then you push the fluid upward you will need some kind of catch bucket to catch all the fluid. You're gonna need some kind of scan tool to check the fluid level. It doesn't have to be as fancy as this one, it just has to be one that can actually read the live data for the transmission. First step is to get the vehicle at operating temperature. So what I did is I took it around the block, drove it about five to 10 minutes, and it's good to go. So get it up to operating temperature. Next step is gonna be lifting the vehicle and get four jack stands all the way around. You want the vehicle to be level when you do this. Otherwise, when you check the level, it's not gonna be correct. Go ahead and remove your lower engine shield. And to do that, we're gonna start with these black screws right here. So I have a T25. Moving on to the back, you have two T45s right here. and then lower this down with your pocket screwdriver. Go ahead and remove the drain plug. It's gonna be a five millimeter Allen. And then you're gonna be ready for fluid to come out. Go ahead and let that drain until it stops. Once it's done draining and it's had a drip or it's completely stopped, you're gonna take a long five millimeter Allen and there's actually a piece up in there that we need to remove. So we're gonna stick it all the way up in that hole and you're gonna feel it, eventually it's gonna grab, just like that. And then we're gonna lefty loosey and we're gonna remove this piece out of there. And there's gonna be more fluid that comes out when we take this down. So this is the part that actually sets the level. Again, go ahead and let that drain until it stops. Once it's at a drip, we're gonna go ahead and put this level setter back in and we're gonna feed it up by hand. When it bottoms out, that's when you wanna stop. This is plastic and we don't wanna strip it out. Next, I'll go ahead and take my drain plug without a crush washer. It's not really necessary to put a crush washer on it yet because we're gonna have to take it back down. So I just run it up in there to keep it from dripping on me. 
and then I'll just give it a tiny, tiny little snug. Next, we need to remove these 10 millimeter bolts that go all the way around the pan. Uh, there's nine of them, and what I'll do is I'll take all of them out except for one, and then I'll loosen that one and take the pan down with it. Now what I've done is I've loosened this one about, I don't know, one or two turns. And if you take a large flathead screwdriver and you just kind of find a spot on the transmission and then on the pan, you're just going to loosen it and now the pan is loose. Now there's going to be fluid sitting in the pan right here and you don't want to spill it all over yourself. So you're going to hold the pan up and you're going to take this bolt out. And then you're going to lower the pan down. Next thing I'll do is I'll just dump all the fluid out of there. And then after that, I'm going to remove the gasket. And all you have to do is just peel it up all the way around. And you're going to do that until it's all the way off. Now that we have the pan out, you can actually see where that level um, insert is. So it actually sets the level about this high in the oil pan. Also, you're going to see that there's magnets in here. Now, it's completely normal for them to be covered in metal fuzz, um, but it's not normal to see chunks of metal in the transmission pan. Uh, looks pretty good in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these magnets up and out. And there's a good bit on there, but we're just going to clean that off. And we're just going to keep rubbing them down until there's no more metal fuzz on them. Once they're nice and clean, you're going to put, put them right back where they were. So there's kind of indentations right here. One right here and one right here. So a magnet goes right there. And then there's another one right here. This one's kind of slid a little bit. So it goes just like that. So go ahead and clean up the pan and the magnets. So now I have my oil pan and magnets all cleaned up. Got my magnets back in place. So what I did now is I opened up one of the transmission fluid bottles, put a little bit in the cap, and what I'm going to do is just dab my finger, and I'm just going to get this a little bit wet on the top side and on the bottom side. So if you look at this, you can see this is a rounded side right here and then a flat side right here. So the rounded side is going to go on the oil pan and the flat side is going to face upward. Also you want to make sure that you have these, these metal washers right here. So go ahead and lube this up, and then you're going to lay this on top of the oil pan. And once you have the gasket on, it'll look just like this. So the pan is now ready to go. And just a quick tip, when doing this job, you want to stand off to the side. Uh, you don't want to be right underneath it because it does drip constantly. So you will get dripped on if you're underneath it. Now looking up at the transmission, right there is our filter. So holding it on is just three 10 millimeter bolts, one right there, one right there, and one right there. Go ahead and remove those three bolts. Don't worry about the filter falling down on you because it's going to stick to the transmission. Uh, once we remove those bolts, we're going to we're going to pry a little bit over here and it's going to pop down. So now I have a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver. It's a little bit smaller than the large one I used earlier. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in this hole right here and then just barely pull downward and that filter is going to come down. Uh, there's also going to be some fluid that comes out with it, so here we go. Just like that. So now you're going to take your new filter with the gaskets on the top left side, 
you're going to line them up with those holes right there just like that and then you're going to put those bolts back in and tighten them down by hand next what i'll do is i'll take a rag and i'll just clean up where the new gasket is going to sit get rid of any dirt uh, try to get rid of some of the oil because we already lubricated the seal itself so just try to clean that up all the way around so on the next step we're going to take the oil pan and we're going to put it up to the car and what i'll do is i'll hold it in place and i'll run one right here and one right here up by hand um, in with my ratchet of course just until i feel like it's starting to tighten then i'll loosen it a little bit get all the other ones started and then i'll tighten them all down by hand so right now I have the oil pan hanging, it's very loose right now, I just have the front one and then that back one I showed you. So what I'll do is I'll just tighten them up until the oil pan barely touches, get all the other ones in and then I'll tighten them all down by hand. So now I have all my bolts tightened down. So what we want to do at this point is remove only the drain plug. We want to leave that level insert in there. So go ahead and remove just the drain plug. So this is where you're going to take your special adapter and you're going to thread it in by hand until it stops and you're just going to give it a little snug and then you're just going to leave it there now at this point if you're doing the pump method go ahead and put all six quarts into the pump if you go with the funnel and gravity feed method what you're going to do is you're going to open the hood and you're going to hang the funnel with a bungee cord from the top of the hood and you're going to run a hose all the way down and you're going to connect it right here and then what you're going to do is you're going to put one cord at a time in that funnel let it gravity feed all the way down into the transmission and you're going to do that until you have all six in there and if you're doing the pump method it's pretty easy you're just going to hook up the line to that adapter and you're going to pump it all in so at this point i have all six quarts inside the pump i have the pump hooked up to the adapter and I have this valve closed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this valve, I'm going to pump all the fluid up into the transmission and once this thing starts pumping air I'm going to shut this valve off. I want to hold all that transmission fluid in the transmission. So now that all the fluid is pumped up in there I shut that valve off and what we want to do is we want to have our drain plug with our old crush washer close by. What we're going to do is we're going to remove this and quickly put the drain plug in. We want to keep all that fluid in there. Once you have the drain plug up there, go ahead and snug it down. We're going to end up removing it anyways, so like I said, just snug it down. Go ahead and take your scan tool and you're going to hook it up to the OBD connector that's up under there. Turn your ignition to the on position, but do not start the engine. Select the kind of car that it is. Obviously it's a Volkswagen. United States. This is a 2011 transmission. You're going to go into the live data screen. Every scan tool is a little bit different, so you're just going to have to find it. So there's the temperature. So this scan tool reads in Fahrenheit. So we're looking for either 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and start the car and you're going to run it through all the gears. You're going to hold every gear for about three seconds. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And you're going to do that in every gear. And I like to do this about three times. What we're doing right now is we're getting fluid all through the torque converter and through all the solenoid valves. 
So it's hard to see on camera, but my temperature has reached where I want it to reach. I actually had it running before I made this little clip right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and check my fluid level. And when we check the fluid level, we want the engine running. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the drain plug out and it's gonna be flowing pretty good. So what we're looking for is when the fluid level starts to trickle and it's not a solid stream anymore. Once it's not a solid stream, we're gonna take that drain plug with our new crush washer and we're gonna throw that back in and tighten it down. So that's a pretty steady stream. So we're looking for a trickle. Once it starts trickling, I'm gonna take my drain plug with my new crush washer. So right there, it's starting to trickle. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my drain plug back in. And I'm gonna tighten that all the way down and clean it off. So I'd say that took about a minute and we lost about a quart, but that's okay because what it was doing is it was diluting all the fluid that's inside the transmission and inside the torque converter. And we got rid of, we got rid of some more of that bad fluid. So go ahead and tighten that down. And that's pretty much it. Go ahead and put your lower engine shield back on and call it a day. You guys already know, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please, pretty please hit that subscribe button because I'm still trying to reach a thousand subscribers. Uh, you know, let me, let me know what you guys want to see. Leave me some comments, whatever. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.